In this video we're going to be looking at stability and toppling. I'm going to show you a short demo and then we're going to discuss why some objects topple. We're going to look at these three boxes. Now these three boxes um, are all attached to the board so that they can pivot uh, on their bottom left corner but they cannot slide. Now each of the boxes has a different centre of mass and that's marked with a pin. Now what we're going to do is we're going to raise the angle of this board until the objects topple. Now I want you to think about which one's going to topple first. Okay, have you got a guess? Well let's see what happens. We're going to increase our board angle. And what we can see is that the object with the high centre of mass topples first. Then the one that's got a slightly lower centre of mass. And finally the one with a very low centre of mass needs a very steep angle to make it topple. But why does this happen? Well we have to consider two things. The line of centre of mass, which is a vertical line down from the centre of mass. And the base of support, which is just the base of the object. Now when the line of centre of mass falls within the base of support, the object is stable. But when the line of centre of mass falls outside of the base of support, the object will topple. And we can see this for the other two boxes. So once the line of centre of mass falls outside the base of support, the object topples. And even for the final one which has a very low centre of mass and is stable, eventually reaches a point where its line of centre of mass falls outside the base of support and even it will topple. Here are our key points from this demo. When the line of centre of mass falls within the base of support, the object is stable and when the line of centre of mass falls outside the base of support, the object will topple. Okay, so what I'm going to ask you to do now is answer a couple of questions. Um, now we've discussed why objects topple in terms of line of centre of mass and base of support. But I would like you to consider why objects topple in terms of the moments acting on the box. So these are the questions I'm going to set you. Uh, one, I want you to tell me why at the beginning do the boxes not topple? And I want you to explain that in terms of the moments acting on the box. Okay, so you're going to use moments to explain that. And then you're also going to explain why the boxes do topple. So once they get to a certain angle, they do topple. And again, in terms of the moments acting on the box. So think about the moments that are acting on the box. And then send me a message with your answers.